Hello online students, this is Mary Jane, one of the research librarians at Landmark. I want to take a couple of minutes to give you a couple of tips for research. Oftentimes students want to start with Google, but Google actually gives you too much information when you're just starting out and it can be very overwhelming and doesn't give you any direction about where to go. Wikipedia also is a source that students think of, but it's not always reliable and it's not a source that professors want you to use when you're doing research. So where does that leave you? Books and articles are a wonderful resource for students, but they do usually assume that you have some knowledge of the topic already, and they emphasize the details of the topic, sort of like this picture. It's in great detail of something, but I can't tell what of. Books and articles do the same thing. Encyclopedias, however, give you background information and help you see the big picture. We now know that the gentleman was looking at part of an elephant. So encyclopedias are a terrific resource, and Landmark actually has a number of them that you can access. You can go to the Landmark Library at landmark.edu slash library and you'll see encyclopedias on the left under books, movies, and music. Because you're off campus, you will be prompted to enter a username and password. Please use your Canvas username and password when prompted. Let's take a closer look at some of the resources we have. So we're at the Landmark website, we go to Library, and now Books, Movies, and Music, and we will search our encyclopedias. We have both general and specific encyclopedias. We'll go to Gale Virtual Reference which has 66 encyclopedias in one, and let's search for dyslexia. Okay, there are 37 different sources on dyslexia, and it's always good to use the pages to see just how long a source is. This only has two pages. I don't think that's substantial enough. So let's try the Gale Encyclopedia of Medicine. It's four pages, that's a little more substantive, and you can see that there's some good tools on the right-hand side, including citation, you can download it, do highlights and notes. You can also listen to the article right online. So it gives you links to the major parts of the article, including causes and symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. As you go through the article, you might see different aspects that you want to highlight, and you can do so. Um, you might even see some names, like Dr. Samuel Orton. He looks like an important man in the field of dyslexia research. I want to do a little more digging into him. Finally, it does list some good organizations at the end and I'd like to look further into the International Dyslexia Association. Other sources that Landmark has to offer include our ebooks. The ebook academic collection has 150,000 books. We can do a search on dyslexia here and it comes up with 53 resources. Simply click on the title to get to the actual book and you'll see the PDF. You can also use the table of contents to navigate around the book. Items can be um, downloaded and also emailed. So there's some excellent resources here. I'll take a little more in-depth look at that at some point. Finally, Going to Google and seeing what there might be 
could be an excellent option as well. So I'm going to type in International Dyslexia Association. And there it is. And it looks like they have fact sheets and information for families. So I'm going to start with the fact sheets and go from there. So we've taken a quick look at lots of different sources, um, books, encyclopedias, and the web. And it's by mixing these different sources together and knowing where to start with what source that will help create a stronger paper. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. My email address is on the library guide. Good luck with your research.